Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Reformer Pro. Today we're going to be looking at the analysis tool and seeing how you can get your own personal libraries into Reformer Pro. Before you start dropping your own files into Reformer Pro, we have some general guidelines that we recommend to get the best results from your libraries. Now, none of these are required and it's always great to explore and be creative, but for your first go with the analysis tool, we've come up with some starting reference points for you to work from. First, try to use 96 or 192 kilohertz samples. This allows for far more possibilities when changing playback speed in real time inside Reformer Pro. Also, try to use close mic recordings. Uh, any extra room tone, reverb or delay can cause everything to sound washed and distant, as well as produce some dropped volume levels, which is never pleasant. Now, different library material will react uh, in certain ways depending on the content of the samples, whether you've got longer sounds or shorter impact sounds, such as rock hits or snapping vegetables. Reformer Pro's analysis tool cannot analyze anything less than one second, and adding silence to any short sound will just give you bad results. Um, if there's silence, Reformer Pro will then assume that the library's lowest volume is nothing, and therefore you won't get an output. So what I do is cut sounds a lot tighter than I normally would. As you can see with these clips here, I've trimmed all the silence off. I make a quick fade out at the end of the clip and then overlap it with the next one, adding a crossfade to ensure minimal amounts of silence. Then I just combine several of these audio samples together until they're over one second. For longer sounds like the canvas bag foley that you can see here, uh, their length is fine. So I just edit them based on the gestures. So I go with the feel of the foley and where it seems that there is a natural end point really. Um, I'll demonstrate it here. It's probably best to create 10 or more samples to start. It gives you a good feel of what your library is going to sound like and gives greater variety of content, uh, which is going to sound less repetitive. Uh, include a range of takes and gestures, as you can see here, with large dynamic ranges and lengths of files. Uh, I cut some of these gun foley sounds here uh, into longer sliding reloads, as well as quick cocking sounds. I then combined them uh, all together to make one sound file, which I'll demonstrate here for you just now. Don't worry about needing to stay too categorical. The former pro will pick out the parts that best match the input. Lastly, normalize or boost your assets a bit. Uh, this is so you will already know they sound right before analyzing. Uh, this is useful for impacts, but not as good for ambiences or more subtle Foley libraries. Once you feel your library is sounding good, render all of that out to a folder and you are ready to analyze it. Now, something to keep in mind is your folder size must be under one gigabyte. Reformer Pro will not be able to analyze anything larger than that. But if you do have a massive library that you want to use, that's fine. Consider separating it into micro libraries of similar material. You're going to get much better results. And I find that um, varied similar content is extremely useful even in my own work, especially with libraries like the Fruit and Veg Foley. As you can see here, I've split our fruit and veg folio database into separate micro libraries. Stabs, squash, 
and crunch, and it made them far more responsive and easier to manipulate. Just remember, experimentation is key to finding the best sounds and response for your material. To begin analyzing your library, simply open the analysis tool by clicking on the page button. When it opens, you will see an option to choose library, or you can drag and drop your library into this area. Once you have set up your library location, you will be able to choose sample rates, which allow you to use the library in a digital audio workstation. To minimize disk space, you can analyze libraries at sample rates you are likely to work at. But if you need another sample rate, you can easily reanalyze a library at any time in the future. From here, you can add a custom thumbnail if you want, otherwise choose the Reformer Pro option. Then click Create. Finally, name your library and click Start. As you can see, the analyzing tool works nice and quick, meaning you can create new libraries in a matter of seconds if you're pressed for time or are iterating and perfecting your personal libraries. After the library is analyzed, you will get this message that tells you to refresh your Reformer Pro plugin. To do this, just close the UI and open it again. And as you can see, my libraries are now in Reformer Pro ready to use. Feel free to experiment with different inputs as well to see the full extent of your library's capabilities. If you decide to iterate on a library and you want to delete an earlier version, simply click the small X in the upper corner to delete it. Don't worry, this won't affect your original sound samples. It just helps to keep your Reformer Pro interface nice and clean, giving you plenty more room to make your next libraries. We hope you have found this tutorial for the analysis tool in Reformer Pro helpful. To find out more or give it a try for yourself, you can get a free trial of the plugin by visiting us at crotusaudio.com. Thanks for watching.